Well, another day, another project. And today, we're gonna to start the final assembly. I got the frame done, you can see here. And I got all the hardware to put the uh, rear end on, get it aligned. So I went to the machine shop this morning and picked up some bolts. And what happened is, on my old setup, they used bolts like this one here, which actually was off the front uh, radius rods on my old one. But you can see right here, where it started smashing the threads. That's where the 3 8 plate mounted to the frame was. And it would work its way loose and it could easily smash these threads. You see right there. And I had a bunch of play in the front and the back. So to fix that, I went and got some longer grade eight bolts with longer shoulders, inch and a quarter. And now the 3 8 plate will sit here and the locking nut will sandwich it together and I shouldn't have no, no movement because the shoulders fit tight through the 5 8 hole. Also, I had uh, the shock mount kit that comes like this and I had the threads threaded from here up to here and leave an inch and a quarter shoulder. So now this will go through here the 3 8 plate will also ride on the shoulder. What I'll do is I'll put a grade 8 lock, uh, self-locking nut to hold this up against the plate to hold the rear end tight. And what I did was the spacers that come with it, I've had the bottoms machined out where this nut will fit inside of it. Now this spacer is going to sit up against the plate the shock will sit up against here, and then I'll have a washer and a lock nut over here just to hold the shock on. But before, with this whole thing sandwiched together and the rubber from the shocks, it moved. It was never holding the rear really tight. So that's what we did to fix that problem. And then uh, also picked up some half 20 grade eight bolts to hold the uh, leaf spring mounts. So I'll get started. I'll see if I can set the camera up and film some of this. It's not going to be easy by myself. Well, here we go. Let's see. Let's see if I can get it on there.
Well, it took a couple hours, but uh, I got it in there. I put it together with non-locking nuts. That way I could keep taking it apart and making adjustments. And what, what I did was I had to get my wife to help me hold the tape measure, but we, I measured from the, uh, where the axle tube meets the new flanges I had welded on for the large bearings to a punch mark that I got up in the center of the frame from when I built it. So I measured from the same spot on both sides to get the axle square with that center mark. And then I uh, left the bolts loose for the leaf spring just a little bit so the spring can go front to back, you know, to line it up. And then uh, I worked on setting the angle. Right now I got it set at five degrees up. But until I get the motor and the trans in, the weight of the motor and the front suspension on, um, I'm going to wait. I might have to readjust the angle a little bit, but... I'm not sure. Um, hopefully the parts for the front end over there will come in maybe next week, I'm hoping. And then I can get that on, then go ahead, the motor trans should go back together quick after I get that done. Well, I decided to go ahead and mount the shocks while I was working on the rear end. And uh, I just wanted to show you quick what I was talking about earlier. You can see now that the 3 8 plate here is on the shoulder. The 3 quarter inch of the helm joint is riding on the shoulder. Only the nut is on the threads. And I did that for the top here and the, and the bottom. Now you can see the bottom where I had the extra threads machined on. So what I'm going to do is take this spacer, I had it machined out, which will fit now over the bushing up against the flange. The shock will sit up against here, then a washer, and then the nut. I could show you on this side here, I already put it on. So you can see what it's going to look like. And then I don't have to worry about the threads getting smashed in there from the torque going back and forth like it did on my um, old suspension before I changed everything over. Well, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. And uh, hopefully we'll be working on the front end here in a few days.